square inch with nitrogen gas. In between the nitrogen and the ink is a plastic ball float. As the nitrogen pushes the ball float forward, it'll activate the ink or it pushes the ink to the ball point so that the, the ink is, is uh, dispersed evenly throughout the pen. Um, what I'd like to emphasize here is the, is the science behind the space pen. What I, what I brought, and it's, it's kind of difficult to really see, but when you're, when you're dealing with a space pen, the, the physical ball point where the ball goes inside of the point is right here in, in this cup. And they're very, very small. And the tolerances on these ball points are three one millionths of an inch. I brought the container to show that they're made by Hoover Precision um, Products Company in New Jersey. That, and this company makes surgical instruments. So the company that is required to make this is highly technologically advanced. So that's why they have to be made in America. The ball, the ball housing where the physical point goes into the housing, this part of the pen is made at Fisher Space Pen in Boulder City. The tolerances on the side of the ball, as the ink comes down through the channel, this ball spins inside of the ball socket. If you were to look at the top of a space pen, this shows a diagram. The, what I'm showing you here is an electron microscope shot of the surface of the ball. What we're showing here is how rough the surface is. When the ball spins, the surface of the ball creates friction or heat. And that heat is what breaks the chain polymers of the ink or what activates the ink onto the paper. I also wanted to show another photograph here. This is another electron microscope shot of the physical surface of the ball. It has a cylindrical groove pattern, almost like little radiuses. And again, that helps in the shearing or creation of heat, which activates the space pen refill. A space pen really doesn't care what it's writing through. And that's one of the reasons why when we write underwater and we show this demonstration, it's, it's so interesting. All the space pen needs is to go through a surface and make contact with a stationary surface and it's going to activate the ink. So for it to write underwater is not a big deal. Also, when you write with regular pens, you have to be vertical in order to write. As soon as you get a little upside down, they quit, obviously, because there's no pressure forcing that ink to the ball point. With a space pen refill, because it's sealed and pressurized at 40 PSI with nitrogen, this pen will write upside down all day long until it runs out of ink. And like you see, it'll also write on through water, and it'll also write on, on chemicals. This chemical happens to be ammonia and water. It's, it's a Windex solution. And as you can see, it also writes through that. And if, if that's not an, enough of a demonstration, it also writes on things as strong as WD-40. There's a pure oil solution there. And it's writing through oil. Now, what makes this so special is obviously you're dealing with a very unique ink formula. This is a regular this is a regular refill, a gravity refill that's found in most pens. When I break this, nothing happens. The pen has got to be vertical in order to write. Now with a space refill, again, this is sealed and it's pressurized at 40 psi with nitrogen. This ink is highly thixotropic. When I break this, the ink shoots out at three times atmospheric pressure. Now you'll notice on this ink, that it's very, it's very thick. It's almost like chewing gum. The thixotropic nature of this ink is what makes a space pen write so dark and so black and so smooth. This ink is some of the most expensive inks to develop. They were developed by Mr. Fisher, who's a polymer resin chemist. Now, when you couple three millionths of an inch tolerance of a ballpoint with two ten thousandths of an inch tolerance on the side of the ball with 40 psi of nitrogen forcing an ink this thick to the ball 
every part of this pen has got to be as close to physically perfect as you can make. That's why a space pen is the most advanced writing instrument in the world. The science behind the space pen is not going to come up very often. I wanted you to know what makes a space pen and the magic of the Fisher space pen.